Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project, we will learn how we can create component for add product. In last video, we created the API for add product, and now we are creating the UI. And in next video, we will integrate UI with the API. So let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we need a new component. So we will create a component. After that, we will define input fields. We will add some style to these input fields. and we will get the data from input field and uh, in next video as i already told you we will integrate this ui with the api and this is my instagram account if you want to join me there so let's uh, start with the first point and create a new component so where we can create a new component inside the components folder so let me create a add product dot js component and let me import here react from react uh, that one and now let's create a add product function and this is basically our functional component and we will return here a div and inside this div i am putting here h1 tag and i am just writing here add product and now let's export default our this add product component and now let's import it inside the app.js file so let me just simply use here import add product from components and add product and where we can use it obviously we will use it for for the add product uh, uh, url and i am just removing this hard code h1 text and let me put here this component here and now let's see is it working fine if you can see that this is still working fine there is no issue now we have to define some input fields inside this component so let me add here three input fields not three actually i just need to define four fields in last video uh, in api we store the name price category user id and company so see for user id we don't need an input field because uh, in user id uh, that will be came from the logged in user because we cannot just remember this uh, user id so this is good that we can just get it from the uh, logged in user that means the logged in user actually uh, adding the product and for the other four fields like name price category and company i am adding the input fields here so let me put here input type is text and uh, after that let me add here placeholder placeholder will be like uh, enter product name or you can say that add product name to save the time i am just adding some other fields also like uh, product price product category and product company and at last we can simply add a button here and let's write here add product but now you will find that the ui is not good at all so how we can just add some style with it so we already defined the style so first of all i am adding a class here and class name for root page is let's say product and i am using this defining this product class style uh, same as the register so i can simply put here like this now we can see that all data in the center if i am not center actually so okay i need to check it again okay i just need to save this file after that it will work right so but still they are not aligned properly so we can add here input box style with the all input fields 
so let me add here class name is this input box and now they are looking cool and let's add the style for button also in foot button we have already defined a button which is add button so let me add the class here also and now this is looking much better so what should be our next step after adding the style we have to get the data from these input field to the state on a button click so that in the next video we can directly integrate the api so let's define the state and then collect the data from these input fields so let me take here const name that means product name set name and this is basically a state hook so we can see that use state by default value is blank and let me define here three more states and uh, these are basically price set price category set category and after that we can simply use here set uh, company also Now, now that that is fine so now we have to update uh, these state on the changes of these input fields so what we can do here we can just simply add our own change event and we can add here a callback function inside it and where we can update these set name field and all so let's get the event from uh, on change event and let's put here event dot target dot value and there should be not comma there should be dot and to save the time again i will copy this from here and paste it with the all input fields so that we can store the data here and one more mistake i already made here actually it should be this is the typo error with the input fields oh my god there's a lots of typo errors sorry guys i just check them now great so now let's change this set name to set price and set category and last one is set company and we know that we have to just use this state with the value also so we can simply use here value is name price category and last one is company right so now i am creating one more event here which is on click the on click uh, event i will call a function with the name of let's say add product and let me define this add product here this is a arrow function and inside it we can just make a we can just print these name like name price category company and all so now let's uh, check out the value whenever i will just click over it we are just getting the blank value if i just add here only product name let's say iPhone and I will click over it I got the iPhone if I just add some price with it 
and uh, let's say 1300 category is mobile and product company is apple and now i will click over it and you can see that we can just get the old data from these input field and that's all for this part and in next part we will integrate this ui with the uh, api also so thank you so much guys and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and please provide your valuable feedback in comment box thank you so much